The first time I crossed the river, I knew I was entering a different world. A world that would consume me for the next two years. The state of Arunachal Pradesh has an area bigger than the size of Scotland and is one of the most biodiverse regions left in India. I was on an exciting journey with a group of conservationists, a mix of forest rangers, filmmakers from this region and a field biologist. We were here to find new ways of connecting the state's indigenous youth with the wildlife and wild places in their backyard using new technologies like 360 video and virtual reality, approaching nature education in a way that had not been attempted in India before. A lot of the times I see that kids interact with the wild environment through utilitarian point of view where you either use a catapult or you use a gun and that's your first interaction with nature. There's a lot of folklores and it's a place that has 26 major tribes which have a lot of taboos and a lot of practices which have changed with the younger generation. So I think it's a great opportunity to be in a place which has rich biodiversity, a rich culture and a rich storytelling heritage. Arunachal is unlike any other state in the country. There are still places where you get the feeling that no one's ever been here before. And yet, these forests have provided for generations of tribal communities whose livelihoods are dependent on them to this day. There is a remarkable diversity of ecosystems, which are essential lifelines for the creatures hidden in these forests. Remote camera traps gave us a rare glimpse into the secretive lives of the species found here. Using 360 cameras to film even a fraction of what we were seeing was going to be a difficult task. But we wanted to tell as many stories as we could from these places, because outside the small pockets of protected areas, these wild habitats are under immense pressure. अपने लोग ही हंटिंग करते हैं और फिर अभी हम लोग अपने लोग ही जाके प्रोटेक्ट करना है नेचर एडुकेशन के बारे में भी हमको बहुत अच्छा लगता है क्योंकि बहुत बच्चा लोग हैं जो जानवर के बारे इतना जानकारी नहीं है जंगल के बारे जानकारी नहीं है फर्स्ट टाइम में मेरा ये जंगल एक्सपीरियंस लकड़ी के लिए ये सब के लिए बहुत फॉरेस्ट काट रहा था वही कारण से अपना फॉरेस्ट को जैसे भी वो बचाना है हो सकने से जितना अपना कम्युनिटी का जितना आदमी है सबको अवेयर करना चाहते हैं कि ऐसे ऐसे नहीं करना है दूसरा का कंपेयर में हम लोग के पास ये है गॉड गिफ्ट है इसको बचाना है We didn't see this expedition as a journey to film any one particular species. The virtual experience had to be a true representation of the diversity that you find here. For virtual reality to be effective, any animal would need to come within a few feet of our 360 cameras. Yeah. Filming mammals this way became our biggest challenge. And after some trial and error, we found that the only way this was possible is if we stayed hidden quietly in the nearby trees. We set up our cameras on the ground, climbed onto our tree platforms, hid ourselves as well as we could and waited.
One of the things that constantly surprises me about Arunachal is how geographically diverse it is. With such a wide variety of forest types still existing, this land really does hark back to how much of the Indian subcontinent would have been hundreds of years ago. Here in Pakke and Eagle Nest, there is a vibrant framework of nature education that we were tapping into. Constant engagement with the communities here became an essential feature in bringing the Arunachal Virtual Archive to life. When we started, we were a fairly small group, but the team grew and evolved along the way while building partnerships and relationships that gave us access to work in some of the most remote parts of the country. For months, we had become part of the days and nights in this ecosystem. And while we eventually started getting our shots, we were also keenly aware of the growing detachment between the local communities and even the most common species that they shared their landscapes with. I've seen monsoons in different parts of the country but none of it compares with the rains that fall here between the months of May and September. Everything changes, as though a switch had been turned on. The sights, the smells, and especially the sounds. A long and sustained spell of rain would bring our filming to a halt. छोटे छोटे स्कूल के बच्चे लोग हैं तो हम लोग नेचर इंटरप्रटेशन सेंटर में ये वीडियो को देखा ही जाएगा जो बच्चों लोग को बहुत नॉलेज मिलेगा कि जंगल के बारे में खुल के पता होगा उनको एनिमल्स कैसे रहते हैं उन लोग इसका बारे में पता होगा बच्चे लोगों को टू मी द प्राइमरी ड्राइवर पर्सनली इज आई सी इट एज एन ऑपरचुनिटी नाउ टू हैव द नेचर एजुकेशन दर आई नेवर हैड एज अट फ्यूजिंग टेक्नोलॉजी एंड हैविंग an experience of learning that is deep has not been merged in a way that is cohesive and comprehensive and i just see that to be such a great opportunity that a lot of us can jump on to Most of these kids had never been to a protected area before. With virtual reality, for a brief moment, they are instantly transported to places they've never seen. They are certain that they are somewhere else. Seeing the effect these immersive experiences had, we understood how incredibly powerful these technologies can be in educating people about the natural world. And there is so much more to gain from pushing the boundaries even further. 